Steve here, and thank you and congratulations for attending this special webcast called Markets of Your Choice, and we got lots and lots of requests. Uh, I probably will not be able to get to all the requests, but even if we follow a market uh, or I analyze a market that is not one of your requested markets, be aware that a major goal of this webcast and recording for those watching uh, those watching this as a video is to show you how you as you know can analyze the markets using strategies that we uh, do for our own trading. And joining me a little bit later will be Paul. We have some exciting things to discuss about um, a very special uh, benefit from MyCalendarTrust.com. But first, as we always do, let me, uh, before we start looking at the markets, uh, and we'll be taking questions a little bit later on also. I just want to show you our risk disclosure. We do this whenever we do a uh, webinar. Uh, just reminding you that there's a risk of loss of trading any market, you know, securities, futures, forex, you name it. There, are, there is a loss, uh, and it's not for every investor or trader. So here is the whole caveat. And if you have nothing to do with the rest of your life, you could go to this link here and read the whole disclosure. You will be tested on this tomorrow. Okay, uh, so let's go over some of the markets of your choice. Uh, we will be making uh, this into a recording. Uh, and keep in mind, although it looks like most of the markets requested are US markets, and we have some currencies, uh, the analysis that you could do with candlestick charts work in any market in any uh, time frame uh, around the world. We have students from over 85 countries. So, you know, although these would be mainly American markets, uh, again, they work in all markets and all time frames. So let's start with some of the major markets here. We will first look at the Dow. Okay, so we can see uh, the Dow, we're now looking at a weekly chart. By the way, let me go back to a daily chart. Uh, we have a 20-day simple moving average and a 50-day moving average, simple moving average. So the blue line is 20-day and the red line is the 50-day. And this is how we define, or at least I define, longer-term trend when the 20-day is above the 50-day, especially when both are sloping up. Uh, I view the long-term trend as up. And with the Dow, you, you know, you can even look at the whole channel to kind of get a sense about the uh, the trend, obviously, up. Now, last week, the market had a major breakout. Okay, these are one of my favorite breakouts. So you had a move above a resistance area right here, bearish engulfing pattern, a little shooting star over here. And what happens? Uh, multi-tested resistance, one, two, three, often becomes support. So this old resistance area, once the market closed above it, we call it change of polarity. Okay, these are one of the strategies we talk about when we discuss candles in combination with Western technicals. Uh, and you notice how this prior resistance area became support. But even if the market broke under that, we still had the rising window. So you had two reasons for potential major support in the Dow in this whole zone here, but the first support zone held nicely. Now, we're in uncharted territory now. So the only way I really use to get resistance is look at the prior highs. So we're gonna look at around the psychological 30,000 level as resistance. Uh, the short-term trend is up. But the market's at resistance. And for those familiar with basic candles, what do we have here that's acting as first support? Right, the rising window. Good call on that. So first potential support is the rising window. Also a little change of polarity. Resistance, resistance became support. And then under that, the aforementioned zone. Now, if the market gets above 30,000, we do have a challenge to determine where next resistance is because the uh, market's in uncharted territory. What I will do in that case is make a rising resistance line. Normally a resistance line is, is falling, but I'll make a rising resistance line. And you could see that currently intersects maybe about 
a little above 30,000. Now, we know doji are or is a potential warning signal. Last week we had a doji. It's actually a high wave doji, long up and lower shadows. And that normally changes the trend from up to a little bit more neutral. But we have to look at candles and context. And with that in mind, there's a doji, but what else? Although the doji may be a little bit of a warning sign, beside the fact the market made a new high close on this doji, what else do we also have? What does the market also have that's saying uh, the doji, although it's a cautionary signal, I wouldn't really get bearish on it yet. What else do we also see? I'll draw the arrow. Right, the rising window. So one of the things as you delve deeper into our candlestick education is looking at candles in context, not just understanding what the candlestick uh, stick signal looks like. That's, you know, that's pretty easy to do. You know, it's easy to see a doji, but what do you do with it? You know, do you ignore it? Do you act on it? Do you take a wait and see attitude? And that's what our education is all about. I'm going to tell you how to get some, get some great, great uh, educational resources. We have a chart challenge uh, a few times a week where you can test your knowledge. And I'll tell you a little bit later, and Paul will go into details about how you can do these chart challenges uh, and chart of the day where I go over strategies, where we go over strategies like this. Okay, so let's look now at some more requests. Okay, the Russell. Uh, this is the IWM. Okay, all trends are up. And interestingly, you can see why this is one of my favorite strategies. See this old resistance area? Market close above it, look what became support. Okay, isn't this a great strategy to know? And there's lots of other cool strategies we won't have time to get into. Uh, to know, you know, think about when to buy and when to, to sell. So, for example, if the market broke above this and then closed below it, that would be a bearish signal, but it held this as support. And then, of course, we have the rising window. Now, normally the bottom of the rising window is our key support area, but, you know, the market is telling us, you know, we're all detectives in the market. We have to pick up what the market's telling us. That it looks like the top of the window, give or take a couple of points, is acting as first support. So, this would be my Second support area, see how the market held the first support area, the rising window. And the IWM uh, is at a resistance area, okay, right over here. No bearish signals yet, though. Okay. So I turned a little bit negative, the close under 174, then the next potential support is this rising window. And we will then look at it weekly and the monthly and just to show you is a monthly chart to show you how significant the breakout was okay earlier this month you know we don't have an official monthly close yet because it's not the end of november but essentially on a monthly basis any as long as this market holds above 166 this is a huge uh, old resistance area which potentially becomes a potentially major support and as far as resistance is concerned, okay, I'm, you know, I'm not crazy about it, but, you know, I like looking at prior highs. Uh, I would view this as really uh, low probability resistance, but it's a way to get potential resistance at the rising resistance line currently right around 183. Okay, but all trends as of now are pointing up. Pfizer, okay, short-term trend is down. Should we have through today's date? Uh, short-term trend is down. Long-term trend is up, but notice that 20 day is sloping down. Okay. Now, just a heads up, you know, technicals are great, candlesticks are great, but when you have major news stories affecting a uh, market you're trading, I would kind of, you know, stand aside uh, because you're kind of flipping a coin. You know, here obviously you have good news and fires, and then the news is not so great because of the competition. Uh, so this is really a news-driven market. What's nice about candles and technical analysis in general is maybe you can get a major support or resistance area even uh, after news comes out. So, for example, although here I might be looking for some support at this rising window, 
Okay, to me, the more important support are, are, is this hammer-like line. I, I don't think there's quite a hammer. The upper shadow is too long. A little piercing pattern. But you can see where the major support is okay, in the zone here, okay, from 34 to about 34 uh, and 3 quarters. Okay, now, as far as resistance is concerned, one of the little tricks I like doing is we, we can't see a clean cut resistance area. Sometimes the middle of the red wheel body is resistance, but that normally is a low probability here. It worked out okay. Uh, you know, what I'll do sometimes is make a Fibonacci retracement, which I'll do here, assuming the market rallies from here. So these are some retracement levels. But another little secret, a little, little strategy, is I'll go to an intraday chart. Okay, to see if there's anything intraday that I see as resistance. So here we have an intraday chart, and we could see on this intraday we have a prior support area and a falling window right around 36.60 to 36.80. Uh, yes, we have another falling window over here, but I would personally view this zone here as a little bit more important. See the support, support. Market broke under it, magic. See, but the support area became resistance. So to me, uh, my two resistance areas based on intraday is potentially this, and then more importantly, around 3820. And this is really cool because you don't see 3820 as a resistance area, do we? On the daily chart. Looking at the daily chart, you know, we, you know, maybe we could say we had a little rally here and then it stalled, but you don't get the sense of heavy resistance like you do with an intraday, and I normally don't go more than 30, less than 30 minutes under it. We have hour after hour after hour after hour after hour, and then the market stalls. So you get a real gut sense of the heavy resistance, potentially right around 38.20. Okay, go back to the daily chart. And again, the idea is, you know, many of you are not trading Pfizer, but the strategies I just discussed and will be discussing and have discussed, you could use in all markets and all time frames. Okay, we'll look at uh, Home Depot. Okay, long term trend, although the 20s under the 50, have the long term trend is neutral because it just kind of crossed. Short term trend is down because of the falling window, but the market is at a potential support area. And obviously, whenever I talk about support or resistance, it's always potential support or resistance. Uh, right here, only because it's a tweezers bottom that is staying too low. Is tweezers bottom normally are not that important on a daily chart. They're more important when a weekly chart we have week two consecutive weeks we have the same lows. But so far, this tweezers bottom uh, is holding a support. But I think we all can see the more important potential support area. Okay, long lower shadows. No, no bullish. You know, it's not a piercing pattern uh, or a bullish engulfing pattern, but the long lower shadows show us demand is coming in. And then we have a bullish engulfing pattern. Traditional bullish engulfing pattern is a green candle wrapping around a red, but it is also a bullish engulfing pattern if it's a doji. And notice how well it became support. So we've got around 264 to 266 potential uh, key support. Uh, but essentially, the market is in a long term box range. A dark cloud cover. Over here, a shooting star over here. The shooting star is also negative because it poked its head above resistance but couldn't hold above resistance, and that's called a falling off the roof. Okay, these are all strategies, again, you'll learn as you delve deep, deeply into our education, where you have a resistance area, the market pokes its head above it, can't hold it. The reason I call it falling off the roof because there's a Japanese proverb that says, let him him or her <laughs> climb the roof and then take, a, take away the ladder. And uh, it's a false breakout. And the theory is when you have a falling off the roof, the target is the most recent major low, which was here. And we reached that target. And so the bottom end of the box range held and it looks like the top end is holding essentially still in a broad lateral trading environment. Okay, let's look at uh, the Nifty. Okay, because, uh, you know, this is a 
overseas market, obviously we have lots of gaps, which don't mean that much. So let's look at a weekly. And on the daily, the long-term trend is up. 20 is above the 50. Short-term trend is also up. And potential key resistance, again, this is a weekly. Okay, a little dark cloud cover over here, a bearish engulfing pattern over here. Uh, towards about 36, but you can see on the weekly, especially the market is in a bull channel. Now, this is a shooting star. But I, un, I would say, uh, I would emphasize a potential shooting star. Remember, this is early in the week. This is a weekly chart. So what close do we need to make this an official candlestick signal? What day does the market have to close? Friday, right? We need open, high, low, and close of the candlestick period. Since this is a weekly, you know, we know the opening of the week Monday. We need to see what the closing is on Friday and the high, of course, of the week and uh, the low of the week, which we don't know yet. Go back to the daily. Okay, let's look at some currencies. Okay, we have other markets. We'll look at uh, gold and crude oil and so forth. So here in the euro, I have the long term moving average is neutral. The 20 and the 50 are really close to one another. Uh, we can see where the key resistance is. Potentially. And this is one of the things that I like looking at. We have a, a candlestick signal that's also confirming a Western signal. That is recent highs. And so the market has pulled back. Uh, it looks like about a 50% correction. So let's look at that. Fibonacci are very important in Forex. Yep, almost exactly a 50% correction. Now the market's rallying again. Uh, short-term trend I have is up. The issue is, look at the size of the real bodies as the market's moving up. It's still making higher highs and higher lows, lows, but the real bodies are getting a little smaller. So that's telling us the bulls are losing some momentum. Nothing really bearish yet, but something to really be cautious about. And we could see the 50% correction acted as support. So that's my first potential support area. Now, we're going to look at some other markets in a minute or two, like I said, gold and crude and so forth. But before we do, I uh, just want to give you a heads up on, you know, this is what we normally do uh, for our, uh, we have mycamelcharts.com. And for mycamelcharts.com, and I'll go over in a minute, you can see here, it's our member site, paid member site, where you have access to all this. And what we've been doing today is we do twice a week a candle strategy session where you send us uh, or do it live what markets you want us to analyze. So we can tell you where support is, resistance is, uh, what the trend is. Uh, we're not going to give you buy and sell signals, but these are uh, great strategies like I'm doing today uh, about where you could look for reversals, what to look out for, and so forth. Okay, we also do every day a uh, trade setup of the day where we give you a, a, an actual trading suggestion, a level to buy or sell at, a stop out level and a price target. Uh, I've got to make arrows here. We do a chart of the day. Remember when I was talking about the doji, but it was also a rising window. So this is a great educational resource where we each day give you insights, strategies, secret strategies or strategies you may not have thought of using candles. For example, when I discuss the intraday chart, when you don't have a clean cut resistance on a daily chart, that's something you might see on the chart of the day. The daily recap each day, uh, either, let me go back here and do that, either myself, Phil, or Brian, they're all NISN certified trainers. I'm sure you've heard them on a lot of our webcasts. Uh, you know, Brian's an op options expert. They're all experts in candles. They've been They've been students of uh, candletrust.com for years, and they took extra extensive training. So I could comfortably call them Nissan certified uh, trainers. And uh, so I'll go through this in a couple of minutes here. Uh, so we do the daily market recap each day. I'll go over uh, or we'll go over the S&P, the Dow, the major markets, crude, uh, the currencies, uh, Bitcoin we'll look at and so forth composite each day. Uh, we'll also do a strategy, um, a chart challenge where we will give you a 
chart and we'll ask you a question. You put the player on pause and you see if your answer, you hit the play button, matches our answer. Again, a great educational resource. Uh, so you can go to this link now. Paul will be on to discuss some a, a special feature we have. That's what we're calling this calendartrust.com lifetime uh, to see some actual examples of, of uh, the chart challenge and trade setup of the day and so forth. So uh, let me go back here to and Paul. We're getting a lot of questions now. Uh, Paul will be talking about the great features of mycalendartrust.com and the special lifetime offer we have uh, for the next couple of days. So let's move on before I turn it over to Paul. Let's look at some currencies. Here we've got a request of the uh, other ones. We've got a request on the pound dollar. Okay, all trends are up. You see the 20 day is sloping up, the 50 day is sloping up, the 20 is above the 50. Uh, the market is now pretty much still and is ascending along a bull channel, which keeps the trend up. And this is not quite a dark cloud cover because the red candle has to get more than halfway into the green candle. And what I'll do here, I'll call up on this and candle scanner. And you can see I have dark cloud cover highlighted. Okay. And this was a little dark cloud cover. Okay. This was here, but no the little arrow, but notice this was not because the candle didn't get through the middle of the green candle. So it's an easy way to figure it out rather than having to do the math um, to figure out what's the middle of the green candle and it's the close below the middle of the green candle. Anyway, uh, even though it's not a dark cloud cover, it is a recent high. So I would have that as minor resistance. But I think we all could see uh, the issue over here. Let me put a box. Remember how to get the box. Here we go, rectangle. Okay, and this would be like a, one of our chart challenges, actually. So you get a sense of what, what a chart challenge would be. So in this area, let me see if I could just make it a little smaller. Actually, let me just get rid of it. With these two candle signals, we actually have two candle signals here. What are they? And then with the chart challenge, if you're a member of mycalendartrust.com, which I abbreviate MyCC, you think about it and then you hit play and then you see the answer. And the answer would be, drum roll please, a shooting star and a bearish engulfing pattern. So two bearish reversal signals. Uh, anyway, that is potentially my resistance area, my key resistance area all the way up here. And similarly to what we've done before, if you want something a little before that, you could make a rising resistance line. Once again, I don't place much emphasis on it, uh, but if you want something a little closer than the 135 area, you could be looking around 133.50. And support, I'm looking potentially at the change of polarity, multi-tested resistance. The change of polarity, you need more than one resistance area tested, uh, tested more than once, once, twice, three, four, uh, and notice how the market got above it, it moved above it here, but didn't close above it, it closed above it here, and look what became support. So anywhere from around 131 to around 13060 is my potential uh, first support area. And let's see if it, that's also a retracement level. And not surprisingly, look at that, right around a 50% retracement. Okay, we'll just look at a few more. Okay, I promised you gold actually GLD. Actually, let me look at futures. It's, it's a little cleaner. Uh, so here, long-term trend is down, short-term trend is neutral, kind of treading water here, but it, it being gold is holding a really important support. Okay, anybody recognize this signal here? Again, this would be a, a kind of a chart challenge. There are actually two signals here. Let me make this a little bigger. Here we go. Okay, so signal number one is these two candles. 
and signal number two are these two candles. Okay, anybody know what these are? Small real body and an unusually long red real body. A bullish hotomy. And then obviously the green wrapping around the red is a bullish engulfing pattern. So not surprising that the market held support there. Here's another bullish hotomy right here, small real body, and a really long real body. So the key potential support in gold, again, this is a nearby continuation, right around potentially around 1850. And resistance, pretty much major resistance. Okay, and we'll look at something closer. You look at this huge bearish engulfing pattern, all the resistance here towards 19. Uh, 60, 1980 in that area, but you know the market is telling us that right around here, because session after session the market stalled, right around the 1900 area potentially uh, is first resistance. But successfully, as of now, held the bottom end of this box range. Okay, scroll down here. Of course, Tesla. And I'll turn this over to Paul in a couple of minutes because we have a lot of requests about uh, information about, you know, getting all these insights each day through mycalendertrust.com. Okay, long-term trend neutral. The 20 is touching the 50. Short-term trend is up in spite of the red real body because of this big rising window. All right. But you can see the market stalled at resistance, so the market is telling us this is a potential resistance area at the highs pretty much since September. And it's actually, it being, uh, Tesla's making an ascending triangle. So although we have horizontal resistance, the lows are getting higher and higher, which means demand is stepping in at higher lows, which is a positive. On a close above the highs here of 466, Say the market closed above 466, what should be support? Okay, old resistance. This old resistance there, if the market closes above it, should become support. And in that scenario, my next target would be, or next potential resistance would be up here at the highs at the psychological 500 level. Rising support line, which will be intersecting near this rising window, is potentially our first support area. K on uh, JETS, J-E-T-S. Here again, remember what I mentioned earlier on, that sometimes if the market is news sensitive, uh, whatever market you're trading uh, or security or whatever you're trading is based on the news, uh, you know, you could use the technicals and the candles to get a sense of, yeah, the market could go flying, but maybe where support resistance is. So look at this gap higher. Okay, and this is one I don't follow closely, so I'm not sure what happened here, but it looks news related. And interestingly, see, look where it stopped. Almost to the penny at the prior major high. Look at this. Uh, so that continues to be resistance, potential resistance and support. We have the little rising window here as minor support. And the more important support area to me. You know, we have a big rising window, but I would use the change of polarity in this zone over here. Now, this is a low price stock, but what I want to remind you is that it doesn't matter what kind of stock, you know, this could be Google or Apple, you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of dollars or a $20 stock. Hey, they're all equally important for us when we actually have money on the line. Uh, so same strategies, no matter what market. So here, this old resistance, see when the market got above it, look what held this support. So that potentially is our uh, support, next support area under the rising window. So with that, we covered quite a few markets. What I'm going to do is just remind you that, as I showed you before, a all what we're doing today and what we do in education, all on mycandlecharts.com. The goal is to have you reach the highest levels of trading success and confidence. We got this wonderful comment from Barry before I joined my CC, mycalendertrust.com. I'd make gains in the market and then lose them back. Who, 
How many of us have done this? Let's all virtually raise our hand. My trading has become more consistent with more winning trades and fewer losing trades over the past few months. And this is the sort of comments we get time and time again. So what I'm going to do now is turn it over to Paul. We have a really exciting announcement, a um, limited lifetime. In other words, is to take advantage of this lifetime ICC. We rarely do this. Um, is going to be for a very limited time for one low price. And I'm going to turn it over to Paul to give you the exciting details. Over to you, Paul. Thanks, Steve. And what I'm going to do now is just pull up my PowerPoint presentation so that everybody can see it. Hopefully, it comes up OK. And it's not coming up OK. Give me one second. Hmm. All right, so we're just going to have to do it this way. My computer is obviously acting up so you'll be able to see the slides ahead of time on over there on the left uh just very quickly uh, i have seven slides that i'm going to go through and then i i want to answer a couple of questions that came in so mycandlecharts.com is the membership site that steve has been talking about uh what i'd like to do is just show you Oh, Boz, very nice. Uh, Boz says, looks good there. So this is one of the testimonials I just received. I, I believe it was about uh, the middle of last week. And it's one of my favorites. Um, it's from Robert. And Robert's uh, been a great member, uh, recently joined up. A large part, I have to thank the Nissen family for tutorials that have helped him tremendously buying the dips on candlestick signals that he learned from our team. Thank you again. He's going to Cheesecake Factory to celebrate. Um, I thought that was great. Uh, he's relatively new into utilizing our site. Now, this is the, one of the questions that came up before. What do I actually get access to if I become a member of my candle charts? So what you see here is a listing of some of the sessions. Anything that you see there in green are sessions that we actually do live. And one of the questions that we got is, what time do we do that live? Well, each day, Monday through Friday, we do live daily market recaps. And that's at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. So that's New York time, 3.30 in the afternoon, which is just before the market actually closes here in the U.S. Uh, we also, on every, again, daily market recaps are Monday through Friday. Uh, immediately after the market recap, we do another session. So every Monday and Thursday, we do a strategy session, as Steve was saying, similar to what he just did, where members get to request a market to be analyzed, and we'll do that immediately after. Uh, on Tuesdays, we do our Forex focus session, uh, specifically about our Forex markets. On Wednesdays, we do an option session called Options Outlook. And this is where uh, we will actually educate you on how to use options and go through almost like a strategy session, but specifically utilizing option strategies with those markets. Every Friday, we do a weekly market recap, so a little bit longer term view. For those that are more of a swing trader uh, or even an active investor that you're looking for, a little bit longer term view than just what's going on on a daily basis. Every other session that you see there in black as well as what's in green, all of those sessions are actually recorded and videos that are posted. We know we have students in 85 different countries. So we know not everyone will be able to attend those sessions live, but you, we record everything that we do and put that up. So for example, our trade setup of the day video and chart of the day videos, those are always posted by 8 a.m. Eastern time. I know that we'll have people, for example, in India, that at 8 a.m. Eastern time, uh, it was about, what is that, five o'clock in the afternoon in India. So you'll be able to watch those in the afternoon there. Uh, every day we do 
or every week, I should say, we have a casual trader session. Excuse me. Uh, where we do a casual trader session. That's more for, again, the people that are not necessarily looking at the charts all, all day or all during each day. Uh, those are more of a swing trade. That video is posted every Sunday night. Uh, so that people can watch that getting ready for the markets to open up uh, for the week. We do a weekly chart challenge. We do special topic sessions. Now, we have a lot of those. Those are all about an hour, and they literally are about special topics. When I give you the link, you'll be able to go to that link and find out all of the different uh, special topics. And if you have a question on that, always let me know. And then we have that charting widget. You'll be able to log into our site, and be able to pull up almost any chart around the world uh, and utilize the chart to kind of look through candles and things like that. So again, every session you see there, the videos are available for you to watch. Anything in green on that on this screen that you can see right here, uh, these sessions are actually held live. Again, if you can attend live, fantastic. You would be able to ask questions while you're in there. If you cannot attend live, not a big deal. You can always go back in and watch the recording. Here's another great testimonial. We got this from Troy. We actually got this from Troy back in April of this year. And it's one of my favorites of all time. He had just purchased becoming a member of my candle charts. And if you recall, back in February into March of this year, when the markets around the globe took a major nosedive, he had actually sold stocks for a loss. Um, and then he actually started recouping his losses became a member, and in just the first three days of that month, he had already profited just about $2,400. This is somebody that was, and again, I'm trying to paint the picture for everybody to look back in time, back in February, when everybody thought the sky was falling and the markets were plummeting uh, and uh, everybody was doomsday at that time. He was able to attend sessions, get that confidence, kind of like what Steve did here tonight, where he's going to give you objective reasons for looking at a chart, objective reasons for why you would enter, why you would exit, and even more importantly, sometimes why you wouldn't enter or why you would not exit. So it's that daily ongoing guidance is why you would want to become a member of my channel charts. Again, we have students in 85 different countries. So let me tell you what we've got going on as far as subscription offers. Typically, we offer a monthly and a 12-month subscription only. What we're doing as we kick off our Black Friday promo is lifetime subscription, okay? The lifetime subscription, you can always do the math and realize that a lifetime is less than what it would be to be a member for two years. Then on top of that, we're actually offering a coupon code of thanks. That will produ produce an additional 20% discount off of this lifetime subscription, okay? So you'll be able to get it for this price for a lifetime. You pay it one time, you own access to my channel charts for the rest of your life. We hope you live a nice, long, healthy life. In addition to that low price already for a lifetime, we're gonna give you, if you utilize that coupon code thanks, you'll be able to get 20% off of that price, okay? Let me tell you about a great bonus item, or items, I should say. And I'm gonna to get to your questions. I see a bunch of questions coming in. If you go with an annual plan, you'll be able to choose between one of these two items that will actually ship to you. This is a physical item, either a candlestick reference poster or the candlestick companion, okay? either one of those if you want with the annual plan. If you want with the lifetime plan, we would ship you both. The reference poster, you can hang that up on your wall. You can put it next to your trading desk. The candlestick companion is an eight page cheat sheet, goes through each pattern, goes through a Western glossary, goes through a lot of detail as to each of the different candle patterns. So again, annual plan, uh, if you went with the annual plan, we would ship you your choice. We would, I would send you an email saying, hey, which one would you like? Lifetime plan, in addition to that great savings off of that price, you would have both of these items shipped to you. 
a great handy companion. You could take that wherever you go and study the candle pattern so that way you can look at a chart as confidently as Steve does. So here's the link, candlecharts.com slash lifetime. Remember, if you utilize the coupon code THANKS, that will only be good off of the price for the lifetime membership. You can, however, certainly go with the monthly plan. You can certainly go with the annual plan. Uh, but if you went with that lifetime plan, by the way, the lifetime is only available here as we kick off our Black Friday promo and those special bonus offers of the companion or the poster only available during this very limited amount of time. So the code is thanks at candlecharts.com slash lifetime. So let me ask, I'm sorry, let me answer a couple of questions uh, that have just been coming in. One question, what time of the day do you actually present? Like I said before, the daily market recap is our first live session that we do each day, Monday through Friday. That's at 3.30 Eastern time in the afternoon. So just before the US stock market closes is when we start doing those. But remember, each of those sessions is recorded and posted. So the benefit, I, you know, we talked briefly about each of the different components of being a member of my candle charts. But what, what is the real benefit? The benefit here is that the markets are going to continue to move. Okay, as you've seen the last two Mondays, when there was great news about vaccines that were coming out, we obviously had great movements in the markets. But between vaccines and uh, you saw some of the markets that our you know, database were requesting with jets, you know, how that applies to the airline industry, which obviously uh, applies to what's going on in the world with the, uh, the coronavirus. So as the markets change, you're going to want that daily ongoing guidance. And that's what you're going to get with the daily market recaps, the strategy sessions, uh, the options outlook, Forex focus, chart of the day, trade setup of the day, and many other features. So with that, uh, I believe I answered the questions that came in. If you're watching this via recording, my email is paul at candlecharts.com in case you do have any questions. But once you sign up and register to become a member, you will have immediate access. So if you sign up now, you would be able to log in and watch the recordings of everything that we did today and yesterday and a few days before that. You'd be able to log in and watch the um, strategy session that we did yesterday. You'd be able to watch tomorrow's options outlook as well as many others. Uh, just got a question. I'm going to pull this back up. Got a question. Hey, I'm new. How do I uh, get going? Well, we have a lot of information for brand new traders in here. Uh, and somebody just said, hey, I'm also new for trading options. We actually have this options boot camp I didn't mention before. This is a three-part series for those of you who want to start trading options. Okay, it's going to take you from the ground up in trading options itself. And then we have, like I said, that weekly live session of options outlook where we're going to hold you by the hand and walk you through different option strategies in the markets. Okay, so I think I answered that question. Join us. We look forward to helping you. The slogan that we have at My Candle Charts is never trade alone. Why would you want to trade alone when you have access to Steve and Brian and Sill, our two Nissan certified trainers that are going to provide that daily ongoing handholding through these crazy markets as we navigate to help you be profitable in the markets. Boz is asking, what type of options are you trading? Uh, you name it, Boz. We have members that are doing, you know, everything from the simple, just directional buying calls and buying puts to we have spreads and, and um, uh, different types of, you know, calendars and verticals and iron condors and things of that nature. So there's a lot of different uh, ways to get going. The options boot camp is great for people that are brand new, as well as people that are, you know just want to refine and make sure they understand everything before they really dive into trading options. So we look forward to having you never trade alone by working with our team on a regular, ongoing basis. So thank you so much again, 
CandleTarks.com slash lifetime. Take advantage of this before the opportunity is not there again for our lifetime membership, especially at that significant discount using that coupon code. Thanks. I want to thank you so much. I wish all of you a safe and happy uh, holiday season, and we're here to help you become even more profitable. Have a great rest of your day and look forward to working with you at my candle charts.